Yeah, 101 The Fox, Kansas City's Classic Rock Station. Good morning, Slacker with you here on the Slacker Morning Show. 576-77FX is the number. There's something you need, something you desire. Ooh, can you smell that? Well, I can smell it from here. That is the ribs a smoking, and they are ready. We are uh, in the studio this morning. My buddy Michael McGonigal is back with us. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, sir. Buddy, Good I got to tell you something. Uh, it is that time of year again. It's ribs for kids. Yes, it is. Rolled around every year, whether we uh, are ready or not. But here it comes. <laughs> the ribs for kids, a tradition at McGonigal's, helping out and benefiting the MFCAA. And tell us what that acronym's for. That is. Midwest Foster Care and Adoption Association. And they are a local grassroots organization formed, uh, they're in, a, I think, about their 12th year, providing help and support and services for adoptive and, and foster families throughout uh, Missouri and parts of Kansas. You know, Slacker, it's, it's crazy that there's 1,910 children in foster care currently in Jackson County alone. Wow. That's a 76% increase since 2007. The services that this organization provides are greatly needed. Of of course, funding is always an issue for organizations like this. Right. We decided many years ago to help them out and support them through this fundraiser and awareness event that lets people know about them so that they realize that there's someone out there to help navigate the really difficult uh, challenge of fostering children and adopting children. My buddy Michael McGonigal from McGonigal's Meat Market. And Michael, tell us how we can deliciously help. Well, they, that's the easy part is uh, all you have to do is come to McGonigal's this weekend, Friday and Saturday from 8 to 6, and we will have freshly smoked barbecued baby back ribs ready to go, only $15 a slab. And for every slab you buy, we make a donation to Midwest Foster Care and Adoption Association, and we're getting some support from our vendors, and the, the donation uh, is going to be in the neighborhood of around 6 to $7 per slab wow. that goes to the organization, which basically we're just giving away all our profits. But it's a great cause. These people really work really hard and they're taking care of uh, kids that really need support and help and they've got you know tons of services that they provide uh, including we were talking about uh, legal services for the adoption process can be very difficult to negotiate with the state with the county with all the organizations that are involved and the family members of the children and and just making sure that everything gets done legally and properly they have legal support for foster and adoptive families they've got a closed pantry a lot of times these kids are brought to foster care with the only thing they got is a diaper right. on their butt. The families that take in foster children are compensated by the state, but it's you know just a pittance compared to what the kind of expenses it takes to take care of these kids and oftentimes the kids have special needs and there's just more expenses involved than the state is providing midwest foster care and adoption association is trying to fill that gap between what the state provides and what the families need to keep these kids healthy and happy talking ribs for kids a benefit for the midwest foster care association my buddy mike mcgonigal in the studio with us this morning and uh, people can certainly help out starting tomorrow morning at 8 8 a.m. through the close of business on Saturday. If you come in, we will sell you a token, which is looks like a little poker chip. It's a ribs for kids token that uh, is good for a slab of ribs. Oh, so you can perfect. buy the tokens this weekend and come back all summer long with the tokens and cash them in. So thinking about a 4th of July party, come in and buy a half a dozen tokens. Come in the 3rd of July and pick up your ribs and all everything to go along with it, and you're set for the summer. Makes it a little easier on us. Takes a little of the pressure off of the cooking for the weekend, <laughs> although we will still be running all the smokers full bore. We generally cook about 2,500 slabs, sell an additional 1,000 to 1,500 tokens wow. that will be redeemed throughout the year. So, Approximately how much money do you raise for Midwest Foster Care? Last year we raised almost 40 grand for, oh, for man, this organization. Awesome. And, you know, when they first started out, we were their biggest, uh, financially their biggest fundraiser because they, they were just nothing. And they've gotten larger and they've gotten a lot more support, but this is still their favorite fundraiser because not only only does it raise money for them, but it raises awareness in the community, and it's all about just talking to people and letting them know what's going on and how they can help and how they can be a part of Midwest Foster Care. Thanks to all your staff and for yourself and everybody that, <laughs> that put this together, because I know it's a, it's a process. Yeah, it's a lot like work, yeah, but sure. you know that's what we're there for. <laughs> all right, well, Mike, uh, I appreciate you coming in. We're going to give you a chance to enjoy it. Uh, give us a call now at 576-77FX. We'll hook you up. And it is a pleasure always to hang out, and we're, we'll have to have back 
that because we, we're getting close to grilling tip time, brother. You know, it's that time of year, and it's beautiful out, and let's just uh, keep this good weather rolling, and let's barbecue. Well, tomorrow, starting at uh, 8 o'clock at McGonagall, 79th and Ward Parkway, through and Saturday as well, get there early. As Mike sends, you can get the tokens, and you can certainly help out this great cause. It's Ribs for Kids at McGonagall's. Mike, thank you much. Thank you.